success, but in his case, it is. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. K.J. Osborne, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. You talk about this Chiefs defense. And they've been excellent against the pass. The number six unit in the NFL. Yeah, this has been a good... Oh, he breaks a tackle and he's got an alley. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. They go play action here on first down. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. So the Vikings hit three and one here through their first four games. And they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Being chased out left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Trent McDuffie getting the chance to blitz and finishing it off with his sack. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan, introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They said a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Let's go. He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. They run right side with Hunt. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The numbers on the ground for Hunt a week ago. Eight carries, 102 yards. I think he's exactly where he wants to be coming into a game, partner, because he has to still be riding the momentum from last week when he broke the century mark in rushing and had one of his best individual efforts of the season. I would expect that there's more from him on the way after that type of a game. And I know his teammates and coaches, they feel exactly the same way. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Trying to find Jordan Addison that time. And that'll bring up second down. You talk about this Chiefs defense. And they've been excellent against the pass. The number six unit in the NFL. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL. But it shouldn't be hard. Touchdown! K.J. Osborne, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. But not only, Charles, did he beat double coverage to make the catch, and then as soon as he did, locked his gaze upfield and made sure to reach the end zone. Go grab your dictionary partner, look up determination, and his picture is going to pop right up. How about him getting through multiple defenders, finding his way through coverage, and making sure he got to the end zone. That's a big time play right there. He notched his 15th touchdown pass of the year on that last drive, and they'll look to keep it going here, first and 10. 
Now a play fake here on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And got his man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And a big 32-yard play on third. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And good work there in open space. He's got this all the way down now to the 32. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throw to the right, held in by Addison. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This offense on the march. Finds his tight end Oliver here outright. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Second and goal from the one. He'll drop to throw. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Josh Oliver. His first touchdown on the year. And the Vikings have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had three touchdowns. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flush to his right. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a freaking touchdown. K.J. Osborne with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had three touchdown passes in the game last week. He's already got three here in the first half alone as his guys start first and ten.
from the shotgun. He'll look to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This time they stay on the ground. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So here are the Vikings to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll look to throw here. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Osborne. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and six, just inside the 30. On play action, they'll throw. He'll buy some time right. Pass caught here by Osborne. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. They'll roll him out right. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds a defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. Touchdown, Vikings! Jordan Addison, 61 yards. And the Vikings are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. He had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present, making plays, and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big... And out now come the Vikings. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he's got it to about the 40. And I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, 
above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. They're going to look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. He's going to try and take off with it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great play there. Doing it himself from nine yards out. And the Vikings are closing in on a 4 and one start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Offense takes over possession. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That one is caught by Hunt. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. They'll set up to throw. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there. And now out comes Minnesota. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second and four. He lets one go deep for Addison. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. He'll fire it deep for Rager. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Four quarters, not enough for all even, and the overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? 
It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into... Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for Kansas City, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1, and one, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the...